Hello everyone. I am Professor Anish Vora and I welcome you all in this video lecture. In this video lecture, we will study about uh, how to calculate the leakage reactance for single phase induction motor. That is the uh, estimation of leakage reactance for single phase induction motor. Before we start uh, calculating leakage reactance, let us know what is a leakage flux. We have some of the flux or most of the flux that is known as the useful flux and that interlink with uh, stator as well as uh, rotor. And some of the flux that is known as a leakage flux and they do not interlink with both that is stator as well as uh, rotor. And the leakage reactance that is because of this leakage flux. We have different types of leakage flux and that is a stator slot leakage flux as well as rotor slot leakage flux. We have overhang leakage flux, zigzag leakage flux and skew leakage flux. And based on this all leakage flux, we have leakage reactance. So we have stator slot leakage reactance, we have rotor slot leakage reactance, overhang leakage reactance, zigzag leakage reactance and differential or in this condition it is known as a skew leakage reactance. So let us study one by one all the leakage reactance and the total leakage reactance that will be summation of all the individual leakage reactants. So in the figure we have shown one slot and some of the fluxes that is known as a leakage flux that is slot leakage flux. So slot leakage reactance for stator that can be calculated with this equation that is x s s suffix s s that is for the slot and stator and that can be indicated by 16 pi f multiplied by t m k w m square multiplied by l divided by s s multiplied by lambda s s and multiplied by Cx where lambda SS that is a specific permeance of stator slot, Tm that is number of turns in stator main winding, Kwm that is winding factor for main winding, SS that is a number of stator slot and Cx that is the arbitrary correction factor. Same way we can calculate rotor slot leakage reactance. Rotor slot leakage reactance referred to stator side and that can be given as a x dash sr that is slot and rotor suffix s for slot and r for rotor and dash we use because it is referred to the stator side and that can be given as by almost a similar equation that is 16 pi f tm kwm square l divided by sr multiplied by lambda sr and multiplied by cx where lambda sr dash that is equivalent rotor slot permeance refer to the stator. So total slot leakage reactance and that is referred to the stator side that can be given as XS that is summation of both the slot leakage reactance that is stator slot leakage reactance as well as rotor slot leakage reactance. And that can be given by XSS plus 
XSR dash. And by the equation, mathematical equation, it can be given as XS, that is total slot leakage reactance, and that is equal to 16 pi F Tm and Kwm square. L divided by SS multiplied by see we have taken this much quantity in common and then uh, we have lambda SS plus lambda SR but that is uh, referred to the status side so we have used this ratio SS divided by SR and multiplied by CX so total slot leakage reactance that can be given by this equation where SSR that is number of rotor slots now overhang leakage reactance we have in the figure we have shown one coil and some of the leakage fluxes out of the active land this is our active land and this leakage flux is known as overhang leakage flux. And overhang leakage reactance can be calculated by this equation XO, O for overhang, and that can be given by this equation that is 16 pi F mu 0 Tm kwm square multiplied by L divided by 6.4 P SS multiplied by pi d plus dss where dss that is depth of the stator slot and capital d that is the diameter of the stator bore and multiplied by average coil span in the slot so overhang leakage reactance can be given by this mathematical equation then we have zigzag leakage reactance we have stator as well as rotor and we have certain amount of leakage flux which travel in zigzag way and that is known as zigzag leakage flux calculation of zigzag leakage flux that is x and suffix z z is for zigzag and that can be given by 16 pi f tm kwm square multiplied by l divided by SS and multiplied by lambda Z where lambda Z that is specific permeance for zigzag leakage and at last we have skew leakage reactance and that can be given by mathematically as X SK that is equal to XM multiplied by theta S square divided by 12 multiplied by KL where theta s that is a rotor bar skew angle KL that is stator slot leakage factor and XM that is a magnetizing reactance so magnetizing reactance and magnetizing reactance that can be given by the equation that is 16 pi f mu 0 multiplied by tm kwm square multiplied by l multiplied by tau p and divided by 10 lg kg p and fs where tau P that is the pole pitch, Kg that is the air gap contraction factor, Lg we know that it is the length of air gap, Fs that is saturation factor. So now ultimately we can give a equation for total leakage reactance and the total leakage reactance that is the X Lm that can be given as a summation of all the leakage reactants so far we have calculated so that is a XSS that is slot 
leakage reactance plus XSR dash that is the rotor slot leakage reactance referred to the stator plus XO that is overhang leakage reactance plus XZ that is zigzag leakage reactance plus XSQ that is Q leakage reactance. Open circuit reactance can be calculated by this equation. Open circuit reactance that is when secondary is kept open we have XOM and that is XM. XM is magnetizing reactance plus half of the XLM. XLM that is a total leakage reactance and leakage flux factor that is KR that can be given by XLM minus XOM and divided by XOM and again KR that can be given as a under root XOM minus XLM and divided by XOM. So this way we can able to estimate total leakage reactance for the single phase induction motor. Thank you very much for watching my video. Keep watching. Thank you very much.